Hi everyone, so today is Wednesday the 21st of August which means the City of Bonds movie is out today and I'm going to see it at 10 past 2 today and I'm so 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 excited. I'm already wearing my Mortal Instruments t-shirt and yeah I've already been fangirling on Twitter with uh, Katie from Kit Kats Can Read so yeah um, but before I go I have enough time to film a book review so I'm here with my review of My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. So this was one of these contemporaries that I'd seen about everywhere. Everyone was loving this book and I really love the sound of it and I've been wanting to get it for ages and then I won it from Daisy who is A Thousand Lives with Daisy on YouTube. I will leave a link to both Katie and Daisy's channels in the description box below. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I got it I just knew I had to read it as soon as possible so I picked it up for the Better Books Review Salon and I absolutely love this book. So it revolves around our main character Samantha who lives next door to the Garrett family. Now Samantha's mum doesn't approve of the Garrett family because they have eight kids and their garden is always a mess. Uh, Samantha's mum is a cow. But uh, then Samantha is sitting out on the roof one day of her house and Jay's Garrett suddenly climbs up beside her. The two fall for each other but then something happens that can cause them both to be ripped apart and Samantha has to make a decision. Do you know what? I really liked Samantha. She never seemed to fit into her mum's perfect house bubble um, but she fit in perfectly with the Garrett family and the Garrett family are chaotic, messy but they're just full of love and the second you walk into that house you could, you could feel it, even I could feel it throughout these pages and Samantha just fit in so perfectly with them. She was filmed with the kids and she just seemed so comfortable with the Garrett's. She was a really nice, helpful and friendly character. However, there were times where I wish Samantha would have grown a spine and tell her mother where to shove her planned summers. She's a 17 year old girl and she's letting her mum plan how much free time she has over the summer and how many activities and jobs that she has to do. I was, I was like, Samantha, grow a spine. Tell your mum to get lost. And then there was also the incident at the end that I was pretty disappointed with the way that Samantha went about it. Um, but other than that, I really liked her character. I adored Jace. The second he climbed up onto our roof, I knew I was in love. He's so swoon worthy. He's a sweet, funny and extremely charming character. He's always helping out with his family. He learned uh, to do handiwork so that he could fix things later in the house without then having to pay money for it. And he's just such a sweet character. I just loved being inside the Garrett household. It was so fun and cosy and Jace was just amazing. Out of the other Garrett kids, I think George had to be my favourite and he was always running around giving cute wee uh, quotes and um, facts. He was just such a wee cutie, I adored him. Um, out of all the Garrett's minus Jace, George is definitely my favourite. I was slightly iffy on Tim at the start because you know he was a junkie and an alcoholic. Uh, but Tim really pulled himself through in this book. I really love seeing his character development and seeing him pull his life together. And yeah, by the end I really loved Tim. Nan, on the other hand, who is Samantha's best friend, I would happily push her off a cliff because she's a bitch. She is <laughs> horrible. At first I didn't realise it because um, it was just these wee snide remarks that I made no connection to whatsoever and it's got worse and worse throughout the book. And then she finally blew up but then we found out stuff about Nan and yeah, I don't like her. I, I would push her off a cliff. Oh, I adored the romance in this book. Samantha and Jace are so adorable. I was squealing and smiling a hell of a lot throughout this book whenever they were together because they were so cute. Oh, yeah, I just, I don't even care that it was basically like insta love. I really don't care because they're just too adorable for me to care. You know, I just couldn't honestly believe what happened at the end of this book. Uh, I was kind of gobsmacked and really didn't know what to do and uh, neither did Samantha and I suppose that's why she did what she did, but still. Couldn't believe the way that Clay and Samantha's mum were acting though. I really wanted to hit both of them, especially Clay, because he's a manipulative... I can't, I'm not even going to say, but because I could, I could sit and call him every name under the sun because he's a horrible, horrible person. But I'm so glad that Samantha did what she did because both of them deserve whatever they get. The only thing I can say that I was slightly disappointed with this with the book was the fact that I didn't get to find out what happened to Mr. Garrett, what happened with uh, Samantha and her mum, and the fact that I just wanted more Samantha and Jace. It, it, I just wanted more. There, it didn't feel finished to me at the end, and I just wanted to know what happened. But I suppose it probably could have took it. 
another book uh, but oh well overall I did really really enjoy this book though it was a really cute adorable contemporary with a slightly deeper storyline going through it and I definitely think this will be one of those contemporaries that I will read every single year because I love it so I ended up giving this book four out of five stars so that was my review for My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Bye everyone!